Hello everyone. Welcome to this comprehensive tutorial where we are going to dive deep into the admission process of medicine and surgery. If you are passionate about pursuing a career in medicine and have your sights set on studying in Italy, then you are in the right place. In this tutorial, we will walk you through each step of the process ensuring that you have all the information and guidance you need to navigate this application process successfully. So let me break this admission process in different steps. The first thing you have to do is pre-enrollment. The second thing is IMAT registration. And the third one is to take the IMAT exam. But still, there are a lot of things you need to consider in between these very basic steps, such as getting your educational documents attested, doing chemia, and doing scholarship application process. Now, let me make it clear that please keep the admission process and visa process separate from the scholarship process because mostly the scholarships we apply are regional scholarships and I'll try to make a separate scholarship video for the medicine and surgery students. Without further ado, let's dive right in and get started with the very first step that is pre-enrollment. Moving towards the pre-enrollment process, so this process is typically designed for the non-EU citizens. If you are coming from a country that is not from the European Union and its affiliated states and you don't have the citizenship of those countries, then you are considered non-EU applicant. And if you have a dual citizenship, one of them is from an EU country, then you would be considered as an EU applicant and you don't need to do the pre-enrollment process. When completing the pre-enrollment process for the IMAT, you will typically be required to gather and submit several important documents, while specific document requirements may vary. Here is a general list of commonly requested documents for the pre-enrollment. A valid passport is typically required to establish your identity. You may need to provide documentation to prove your educational qualifications, such as high school transcripts, diplomas, or degree certificates. Make sure to include any official translations if the documents are not in the language of the institution. If English is not your native language, you may be required to provide proof of your English language proficiency. You will require one or more recommendation letters from teachers, professors or professionals who can vouch for your academic abilities, personal qualities and potential as a future medical student. You'll need recent passport size photographs for identification purposes. Check the specific requirements regarding the size, background color, and specifications of the photographs. So let me make it a bit more clear in terms of educational documents from the, for the ones who are watching from Pakistan. You'll need a higher secondary school certificate, higher secondary school transcript, secondary school certificate, secondary school transcript, recommendation letter, English proficiency certificate, a valid passport, and a passport size photograph. Remember, this list serves as a general guideline and it's important to check the specific requirements of the institution you are applying to. Moving back to the pre-enrollment process, you'll have to do this pre-enrollment process at universeitaly.it. So pre-enrollment is compulsory for all those students who want to apply for long-term D-type visa. One very important thing about pre-enrollment is that being a medical and surgery student or any student of bachelor's and master's, you can only enroll for one university. But specifically, if you are of medicine and surgery student, right from the starting, you have to choose only one university and do all the process for that chosen university. So first of all, choose that university where you have to study. To help you navigate the online application process, I'll walk you through the process step by step. So step number one is account registration. To begin the pre-enrollment process, the first step is to go to the dedicated website that is www.universeitaly.it. Create an account on Universe Italy if you don't already have one. Click on why and how to register for detailed instructions. Complete the registration form by entering your personal information accurately. Don't forget to copy the Italian text code provided by the website. Once registered, you'll receive an email to activate your account. Step number two is assessing the pre-enrollment section. Once logged in into your Universe Italy account, navigate to the International Students section and click on pre-enroll now. Make sure to change the website language to English for ease of understanding. Step number three is starting the pre-enrollment application. In this phase, step A, 
Carefully review all your personal information and select the academic year 2023 to 2024. Once you have checked all the information and filled in all the required sections, click on Go to Step B. Now step number four is uploading passport information and picture. In step B, you will need to upload your passport information and a passport sized picture of your face. Make sure the picture meets the specified requirements. This is an important step, so take your time to ensure accuracy. Now step five is visa application and course selection. During this step, you'll enter all the necessary information regarding your visa application. Choose the country and embassy you wish to visit and select I want to enroll in a study course as a reason for the visa application. For the institution, choose Universita and then select your preferred university. Indicate the preferred language for the course and for the pursuing of Madison, choose Laura Magistrale Articolo Unico. Filter the course options and select Medicine and Surgery. Step number six is document upload and finalization. In the final stage of pre-enrollment, upload your official diploma and any additional documents you wish to submit to the selected university. Ensure that all documents are clear and legible. Scroll to the bottom of the page, confirm your understanding of the treatment of the personal information, and then finalize the application by clicking the blue Apply for Pre-Enrollment button. So after successfully completing the pre-enrollment process for studying medicine in Italy, now all that's left to do is patiently wait for the pre-enrollment to be verified means your university will verify and you will receive an email that your pre-enrollment application is verified and you will have to download your pre-enrollment summary by going to the university.it website. Now comes step 3 that is IMAT registration. So IMAT registration usually opens in month of July and before IMAT registration it's important that you should be pre-enrolled. You basically select the exam location and when you register for the IMAT exam, you should always try to find out when IMAT registration is about to open. Book your seats as soon as possible because seats fill up quickly and have a backup plan in case seats in your country are not available. And you'll have to pay the fee around 130 euros for the test itself. Make sure you receive the payment receipt and keep it until the test day. Apart from this, there is no other chance charges for the pre-enrollment. Now that you have done the IMAT registration and taken the test, you will have to wait around one month for the result. Now being a non-EU student, you only have one choice of university. You pre-enroll for that one university and you do the IMAT registration for that one university. So if you get admission in that university, that's a great news. If it doesn't happen, then don't wait for being there in second or third list because this is for EU students only, not for non-EU. So that means if you didn't get into the university you applied for, nothing can be done. Now a very common question that is often being asked is if my percentage was 70 or 80, so can I study medicine? Does the percentage matter? So yes, you can study because there is literally no percentage requirement. It is totally based on the IMAT score and the marks that comes in IMAT are not predefined. It depends on the marks of all the students who apply to that particular university. Basically the cutoff for each university. So according to that students are being selected. And after that as soon as you get the admission you can apply for visa. Now let's talk about a few small but important things in between the processes although I'll make a separate video for the scholarship but let me explain scholarship in brief. So being a medicine and surgery student, you can apply for regional scholarships called fully funded scholarships in which you receive free food, accommodation, you also get stipend and plus your tuition fee is completely waived off. The call for these scholarships have different timeline for each region but usually starts from June to July and you have to you have around one month to apply. And this scholarship is based on your financial stability. And now most asked question about this is that you have to show more amount for the visa and less for the scholarship like how. So as I told you before to take both these visa process and scholarship process separately because the scholarship is decided by the committee which is the body of the scholarship in Italy and the visa decision is by the visa officer who's sitting in your country. 
Whether you are a high school student dreaming of becoming a doctor or a college graduate seeking to pursue a medical degree, IMAT is a key milestone on your journey to a successful medical career. Throughout this video, I tried to cover all the essential steps from eligibility criteria to creating your account, registering for the IMAT, selecting a test center, preparing effectively, and checking important dates. I hope now you have a clear understanding of what it takes to complete the process successfully. And I hope you are one step closer of pursuing your dream of studying medicine in Italy. Good luck and thanks for watching.